Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> Welcome back to Cut the Tape! Wie geht's, meine Damen und Herren und Fräulein? Wir tanzen! Ja, wie's cutten einen Taper? Tschüss, 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 tschüss. Ah, uh, Achtung. Welcome to Cut the Tape. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the German language. Today, I got two special, two very different things from two different universes. We're gonna do the small one, and then we're gonna do something epically huge. First thing comes from the Netherlands. I got this yesterday. I was so tempted to open it last night at home. I'm like, nope. I'm gonna save it for the show because I know you guys really care. I, I know all two of my viewers really, really care. Anyway, Transformers officially licensed Netherlands uh, coins. Come in a little box like this. There's Optimus, there's Bumblebee. Little sticker of authentication on the back. All right. So it's a magnetic box. Very cool. Magnetic box opens up, and there it is. There's the coin. This is official tender. Now, what? Here's what's. All right, we're gonna get into a, a little story here. So. I got the postcards and the stamp sets from England, from the United Kingdom. Those were the last stamps and postcards officially produced under the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. Transformers. These coins, which come in a nice little plastic container, were the last official collectible currency made in the Netherlands under Queen Elizabeth II. Was it the Netherlands or New Zealand? Gosh, I want to say it was the Netherlands. There are 3,000 of these coins. New Zealand. New Zealand mint. I apologize. New Zealand mint. Apologize to all my Kiwi friends. Her Royal Highness, Queen Elizabeth II, rest in peace. 2002, this is worth $2. It's worth, you know, I paid a hundred bucks for this. But here's the coin. So let's give you the stats on this. It is 999 fine silver, weighs one ounce, country of issue, uh, New Zealand, year of issue, 2002, mintage, 3,000 pieces. So there we go. A rare thing to have. Why, why does anyone have it? Why does it exist? Who said, hey, you know what we need to make? We need to make royal authentic Transformers coins. And somebody agreed, but you know what? Thank, thank you to my New Zealand friends. All right, first of all, you know, the Shire. Thank you all for Helm's Deep. But thank you for realizing, hey, you know what? The collectible community might want something that's nice like this. Now here's an oddity. The bumblebee did not come in its own little bag like the Optimus did. Which makes it a little harder getting out of the package. 
I'm on. Now, can I remove it from, oh, I can remove it from this case. I don't want to remove it from this case. Just, I don't know if it's glued or not, but the case does appear to open, you know, give it another little quick tap. Hey, oh, very easily. So this is the coin. This is Bumblebee. It's got the appropriate symbol on it, 1984. Queen Elizabeth. Two dollars. Yes, they use dollars in New Zealand, Zeldron. We're not the only country that uses dollars. God. So just a little cool thing. This would definitely be included in my next panel at TFCon. I had a really fun time at TFCon. I did the very first panel of the weekend. I did Transformer Oddities, and uh, the energy in the room was so great. I loved it. All right. Now, ugh, let me make some space over here. I've been sitting on this for a while deciding, do I want to open it? Do I want to keep it sealed? And um, I decided I'm going to open it. It's time for Galactus. Tape's meant to be cut. This is the HasLab exclusive Galactus. You know, this makes the second HasLab item I have here on display in the store. The first being the Razor Crest. Oh no! This is the third one. I have the Razor Crest, I have Java Sail Barge, and now I have Galactus. So I don't collect Marvel stuff, or really, right? I like, I like Hulk and Thor. I got, got a lot of Hulk and Thor stuff. But I don't really collect Marvel Legends. So I'm like, do I want to sell the figures from this set and just keep Galactus? It's a box and a box and a box. And I think the answer is yes. I probably will sell the thing just to keep Galactus. I already got a Silver Surfer. I mean, I had a Silver Surfer just because it's just, you know. I've, I've got like many, like maybe, you know, 15 Marvel figures of that. You know, outside of Th Thor and Hulk, I've got a Doc Ock, I got a Silver Surfer. And, uh,. I think there's another monster guy. I, I get the guys that go well with my He-Man figures. And I didn't get the Sentinel. I kind of regret not getting it. But when I saw Galactus, I'm like, yeah. Galactus absolutely would go with He-Man. And I really, really want to take a picture of him next to my Castle Grayskull. Oh, it's a box in a box. In a box. And I thought, hey, might as well open this because awesome. frame and picture shop. Spam. I get like 50 spam calls a day. Might as well open Galactus, just because I'm about to get Victory Saber. All right, so here's the box. I don't really understand what's going on here. Is this his chair that he sits in? I don't, I don't really know. Holy crap. Framing Picture Shop, this is Rick. Uh, yes, I am here until uh, 2 p.m. today. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Money comes first. 
the frame shop is open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturdays 9 to 2. All right, HasLab series, HasLab series, Galactus. Galactus. Sounds like Gallagher, but it's not Gallagher. By the way, Gallagher just died. Remember the sledge matic Well, it turns out Gallagher might have had some controversial material that, you know, I, I had never seen before, but apparently in his older age, got a little controversial there, unfortunately. But he's gone. All right. Instructions are nicely folded over. Look how awesome these instructions are for this multi hundred dollar HasLab item. Great. Tells me how to fix the, how to replace the battery that the guys had. All right. It's a good thing I'm a tall dude. handsome man. Wow. He's literally the size of the entire box. Very little cushion. Was not expecting that. I thought he'd be a little smaller. Was not expecting him to be this big. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we have our top layer protection that comes off. We have our Silver Surfer, Firestar, and Red Hulk. I, I actually don't even know who these guys are. And you know what? I don't care. This Silver Surfer to me looks exactly the same like the Silver Surfer I got at Walgreens. So, you know, if it were chrome, I'd be all over. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm, well, I'm keeping that. Or if it were glow in the dark, I'd be, oh well, yeah, I'm keeping that. Or if it were pink to support breast cancer awareness months. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that. Or like a rainbow to support the LGTBQ community. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm keeping it. Although that one would probably get the most money on eBay. Anyway. Styrofoam. Ah, uh, so I used to take the styrofoam inserts from toys and make them and like draw on them and make them bases. And I must have gotten more use out of the styrofoam insert of Fort Max than I did out of the actual toy when I was a kid because that Fortress Maximus styrofoam, it was my GI Joe base. It was my Thundercats base. I think the Ghostbusters lived in the in the styrofoam of Fortress Maximus as well. And then I, I used to love the film Aliens. And when I was a kid, Soundwave was the alien queen and the tapes were like the little aliens that came out. And the G.I. Joes, the, the styrofoam base was the Sulaco, the ship that brought the Colonial Marines to LV-426. Man, this seems like a big, this seems like a big waste of space here. All right. So we got some styrofoam here. We've got the Doctor Doom head. I'm, you know, I'm up to date on a lot of Marvel stories. Thank you, Comics Explained. Uh, but uh, Rob Core for life. But I don't know the story of Doctor Doom taking over the body of Galactus. We've got an angry mouth, Herg. We've got the dead Galactus face. I think this is from the, the time that there was like a humans from the future to use Galactus body to time travel to the past. And then Reed Richards found Galactus and then he buried him. Or it could be from Marvel Zombies. I don't, it's ambiguous. And now here we have the coup de gras. It's like holding a baby. You gotta support the head, right? Oh, that is heavy. 
Wow! That is heavy. Whew. Very articulate hands, articulated hands, as you would expect. It's not super tight, but it stands up on its own. Very nice. Waist articulation, good head movement. Good articulation in the in the legs. I understand why the feet aren't as articulated and don't have the rocker feet. Um, Cause it's a large thing, it's, it's, it's top heavy. The button to activate the electronics is in the back. It does not come with batteries. Batteries have to be installed. I, I tend not to install my batteries in figures. And then here we have the antennae. That's it. Wow. That's Galactus. Hey, buddy. Hey. Nice to meet you. I just saw Puppet Master the other day. Nice to meet you. You're going to live here in the store. Beep. <laughs> I thought that was a button for some reason, but it's not. This is a uh, vinyl. This is, it's not, it's a soft vinyl, but it's, it's very durable. It's, it's pliable. Let's take a look at the back. Here's the button. This is the panel that comes off to put the batteries in. I, I may have to break out the silver surfer and pose him with the surfer. By the way, Alex at TF or Toy Arc did a really good photo shoot with his version of Galactus. Go check it out. Um, let's see how easy this comes off. Surprisingly easy. Oh, I spoke to you. Oh, surprisingly easy. There's a zombie variant. Hey. There's no SpongeBob variant, unfortunately. And let's see. Oh, excellent. Easily removed. Let's put the Doom head on. I kind of feel it needs a cape with, with this dune. There's, there are no extra pieces. No, I just, he kind of needs a cloak with this dune, but that's okay. We'll put that away. We'll put the proper head back on. Awesome. And that's Galactus. All right. Yay! <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching Cut the Tape. Remember, wash your hands. Be kind to each other. Register to vote. Voting's important. Voting's important. Not telling you who to vote for, just telling you to vote. All right. Be well. Thank you. Take care.